I bought this milk almost a week past the sell-by date because I wanted to know, is it a good way to save money to drink old milk? I did a bunch of testing and experiments and I'm going to bring you along for the journey. So hopefully today you find a new way to save money or to get sick. All right, it's the moment of truth. We are outside the store. Time to see if it's worth it. So I'm trying to be sneaky so people don't see I'm recording a YouTube video in the store, but here's the milk. It's up to a dollar. We'll see how much I actually paid here in a second. And if you want to take a look here, the actual price is $2 for this quart. So how much did I pay? 75 cents. The date on the milk is May 7th. Today is May 11th. And this is not actually 50 cents. They put that sticker on there. Lame. So over the next couple days, I'm going to be testing this out and letting you know how the milk feels and tastes along the way. Let's set up our first test. So I've set up a little miniature kitchen here in my computer room because everybody else in the house is asleep. Tomorrow we'll go to the kitchen. And when I say tomorrow, this video will be over 24 hours long. I'll actually edit it out. Don't worry. Yes, I'm actually in my floor for this experiment because I will go to whatever it takes to make it work. Except maybe get a microphone stand to work. I could not get this thing to hang on. Now the first test we need to do is actually to open the milk and make sure that it looks okay. Come on man, you're 32 years old and it takes you this long to open milk? As you can see, this is the first time opening the milk. It looks pretty good inside. Seems okay, looks okay. It still seems fresh enough. Let's give it a pour and see what happens. Alright, looks good. This is uh, fat free. Let's, let's see here. got a bit of a different taste to it. Let's let's dip it in something to make sure that I'm not just tasting things. And of course, as per a usual taste test, you need to slowly drink the rest. That way it will let your taste buds and your palates slowly get all of everything that they need to be able to understand the flavor. Let's do that now. Not gonna lie, the taste is a little off. Was not expecting that when I went to record this video, but it's all right. I've had this milk sitting out for just a few minutes while I was getting ready to film, and it very well could be that I'm used to drinking whole milk and this is fat-free, but I think it needs to be refrigerated. I can see it sweating a little bit on the edge here. So we'll put it back in the fridge and we'll come back tomorrow for a second test. So it is now night two. We're gonna do something a little different with this experiment. I, I'm in my kitchen, so I have to be quiet. Everyone's asleep over there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the milk. I'm gonna give it one more try. Just chug a drink down, at least a little bit. And then if this doesn't work, we're gonna to go to this bowl of cereal, Reese's Puffs, right here with this wooden spoon and see if the chocolate flavor masks whatever I tasted yesterday. It is April 12th. I'm documenting my journey. Okay, here we go. Nope. I could smell it right when I started taking it. No, it's still there. Okay. I don't like that. Oh, wow. All right. We're going to put a little bit into the milk and see if that, in the cereal, and see if that helps it out. All right, here we go. Let's hope this works. And now we'll take a sip to see if the chocolate is mixed in with it. So the chocolate makes it taste a little different. This ain't it, Chief. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring back my final thoughts to you on this whole thing. Would I do this again? Would I recommend it to you? All right, quick surprise update video. It's been about 15 minutes since I drank the toxic milk. And right now, my body does not feel very bad right now. Actually, despite drinking that, I feel okay, but there are some things I did wrong, like I said before, things that you should do differently, and if I would do this again, would I do this again? You might be surprised by my answer. Let's get into the final thoughts. Well, this is it. Would I do it again? Would I recommend it to you? So, would I recommend it to you? Yes, I would, if you learn from my mistakes in this journey. Don't buy what you can't drink. So first of all, I bought it intentionally further back. There was a milk that said May 11th. I bought the May 7th one because I wanted to go all in if I was going to go for it, right? 
Well, here's the thing. Take a look at this chart right here. As you can see, the lactose-free or the fat-free milk is the best, longest lasting if it's not open, seven to 10 days. Whole milk that I like the best is only five to seven. But on the bottom of the chart here, you will see all milk lasts for five to seven days past the printed date. Now this is a sell by date. It's not an expire on date. Different dates, different things, blah, blah. It's just a good guideline, right? It's just a guideline. But it's still, I was at seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I was at four and five days, but I've learned from that. So yes, I would recommend this to you if you wanna save a few bucks every now and again. I don't think it's something that you can save a whole ton of money. It's not something maybe to do long-term unless you really need to. And then, you know, if that's the case, by all means do it. So would I do this again? Well, I would make sure that I got the sell-by date that was closer to the date of purchase and make sure that I did everything right, stored the milk in the back of the fridge like you're supposed to, everything all the tips and tricks that they say to do so yes i would do this again just maybe not as regular thing and learning from my mistakes like the video if you thought this was fun and learned something today subscribe to the channel for more experiments and money talk this is austin with the austin analysis see you later